Hey there, welcome to a new video. In this video, we'll talk about scale, which is a media effect, uh, which is uh, often misunderstood, uh, um, but uh, it's quite simple. So now let's dive into it. I have this melody, which is just a chromatic scale. <laughs> just to test out uh, this uh, effect. So here I have the scale, which uh, is programmed with a chromatic scale. So if we play it like this, we don't have any difference. But if we go to other presets, such as C major, okay, here we have C major. So let's listen to how it sounds. So how does this graph work? It has two axes. The X axis is the axis where we select the input note, okay? The note that we are playing. And in the Y axis, we basically choose which notes corresponds to the pressed key. So here we have the C and the C sharp, which both correspond to C because they are both on the row of the C. Then we have uh, D which corresponds to D and then we have D sharp which stays uh, on the row of uh, D. Then let's go to E. We have E which uh, corresponds to E and then we have F that corresponds to F. Then we have the F sharp that uh, sits uh, on the F row. So basically, if we play a C sharp note, uh, we still have a C note uh, as an output. So as you can see here, they are the same thing. Then let's go to this one. They are both D and we have E and F. So that's it, that's simple. If we want, we can change the bass. So if we want to write uh, into other scales, such as uh, D major, uh, E minor, etc. This can be quite confusing, but we can change the bass simply by doing this. And we start with the D note at the bottom, or D sharp, or E, or whatever. Then we also have the transpose. It basically, it basically transposes all the MIDI. Then we have Fold. And Fold makes it more convenient to create scales by automatically folding back notes if their offset to the original note is greater than six semitones. For example, if scale normally maps an incoming C3 to A3, enabling Fold will map C3 to A2. So, so basically this feature helps with avoiding uh, huge jumps, so more than six semitones, and keeps everything folded together. Then we have the range and the lowest. So basically uh, this helps with uh, choosing which range of notes we want to process. Set it like this, we have all the notes on the piano roll that are affected by the scale effect. But for example, if you want to process only E from E3 to B3, okay, let's just go to E3. Let's count the semitone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, range seven. And it will sound like this.
we have only these nodes being affected by the scale effect. So this is really simple. If you aren't uh, a pro at uh, music theory of if you want uh, just to jam out uh, and don't want to care about uh, hitting the wrong note, you can uh, just load the scale and have your life uh, easier. Uh, you can also use it for just uh, going random with a chromatic key and trying if your uh, uh, melody sounds best when transposed to a C major or a C minor without having to move all the notes one by one every single time. So it saves a lot of time and a lot of efforts. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.